Welcome back to Connor Orchards. It has been a very long summer. I know we haven't done any videos in a while. We've been a little bit crazy trying to get stuff caught up after all the festivals, which were amazing. So I'm in catch up mode. I'm gonna give you kind of a montage of things we've been working on. So here we go. That is honey. I'm getting ready to do some lavender infused honey. We get our honey out of Paonia from High Mountain Apiaries. Um, decided a long time ago I cannot do everything and bees are one thing that if you're afraid at all you don't want to do them so I don't do bees I think I've been stung too many times so really easy this is a four gallon bucket I ground up some of the Melissa which is a very white lavender so most folks would think that's not lavender but I like to grind it and then I'm just gonna spread it around on top I'll put the lid on and then I turn them upside down like that and then I will continue to rotate them a couple times every day and that gets that lavender it gets the lavender going up and down through the honey and it comes out with a really nice flavor I used to do just the whole buds and strain it out I actually like just grinding it up and leaving the grinds in there it keeps infusing if I do that so project number one <laughs> project number two although this should have been project number one because I've been doing this for days peach apple butter this is a 22 quart crock pot um, it's an aroma you know I didn't know anything about this I looked up some other ones before I bought this one I wasn't really finding reviews on much of anything that were good bad or indifferent the only thing I find is I have to make sure I scrape along the edge this is not scorched the bottom for me which is amazing my other crock pots which were normal size um, sometimes the bottoms would scorch this lets me adjust the temperature completely to my own so I'm starting it a little bit higher to get it going so I just got this on today and then I will scrape and stir this constantly sometimes I will get up in the middle of the night and stir it maybe once sometimes I won't depending on how tired I am uh, but this will cook down to about half but this gigantic thing makes a lot of the fruit butter which is exactly what we need Project number three, everything is peaches right now because we're getting down to the end of them and I have to get as much worked up as I can. So these are the dehydrated peaches. Usually I will run the dehydrator full, but not all of them will dry equally depending on how they get cut. So I always have some that need to go back in for another hour or two. That's what these ones here are. So I will pull these out and then hopefully in the morning get some more dehydrated peaches on because I am not keeping up with the dehydrated peaches with farmers markets. So that's the next project. All right, out to the shed. Next project, apples. So these are Nakani. It is a cousin to a Jonathan. These are being picked the last couple of days. We started sorting today. They are tiny. We do have some regular number ones, but we got all these tiny ones, which I like sending these in the lunchbox with the kiddo. But we have a few boxes <laughs> of these small ones. So I might be making more applesauce. Hopefully we'll be selling some of these as well. If you're local and you see them and you want some, just give us a yell. This is project number five. <laughs> I've lost count already. Um, so we, we're sorting. The machine's not running right now because we did this earlier and I was not thinking quick enough. So I'll show you tomorrow when we get ready. The nice part is we also have a bin that can go to juice. Those are the way too small ones. Um, they're even smaller than these. That my goal was if they can't get four bites out of it, it goes to juice. So that's the next project. Okay, next project, lavender buds. I've been doing up some buds for um, a farm over in Carbondale. They came, sent me with 13 of these. So I've gotten everything off of the bundles and debutted. I started cleaning some. We had a storm come through earlier, so I shut down. So I am putting our machine to use. So project six. 
Project 7 is sitting down at the desk finally and getting some paperwork done. Yeah, paperwork. <laughs> I also have an order I need to get out for the subscription. So that is project number 7. Alright, so for this project I actually get to sit down. Um, I'm going to be bagging up some of our bath bags, which is just organic oatmeal, organic chamomile, and our lavender buds. This year has been really busy. Uh, usually I make extra jams and all my extra stuff back in the spring before we get started. Well, this year was COVID and I didn't know what we were going to need, so I did not make a lot. Well, farmer's market started, <laughs> festival started, and we started running out of a lot of things all at once. So I need to spend a couple of days, actually I need to spend the next month, catching back up and getting some stuff taken care of in Maine because we have Apple Fest coming up in Cedar Ridge and then Pumpkin Fest at Chatfield down in Littleton. That's the second weekend in October. That's supposed to be a lot of fun and our goal is to bring Honeycrisp apples to that plus all of our other stuff, our ciders and our fruit butters and jams and all the lavender stuff as well. But to do that, I need to make a lot because they're expecting a lot of people as well. So we are busy making things. I'm trying anyways. So we are busy in production mode. And sometimes it is a sit down project like this one, which is kind of nice because I don't do this too often throughout the day. And then these will be caught up and I'll also have stuff from markets again because I have been out at the farmer's market of a lot of items as well. So I need to make more chocolates. I don't know if I'm going to get those made tomorrow. The honey is steeping now. It'll be at least a week before that is ready. Um, but it will be back in stock pretty quick too. We're almost done with peaches which will make a big difference on my time. Peaches are really fragile so I have to process as quickly as I can. Where apples, once you put them in the cooler, they pretty much sit. Um, and there's not a whole lot. Sometimes with the number twos, if there's a bad spot that I've missed, um, that can rot on you. And if it's... So if you ask my mom about me in the kitchen and doing all of these projects, she's going to tell 